Hello, it's Vicki McCarthy. I'm here with another beautiful bright box for you today. This is a little purse that explodes out when you open it. And I made a video of this a long time ago and a lot of people have asked me if I could remake it so they could see it again. I also have a special treat at the end of this video about a free exclusive tutorial that I'm offering, so check back at the end. Let's get back to our purse now, Polka Dot Parade Designer Series Paper. We're going to score it at 4 inches and 8 inches, rotate at 90 degrees and repeat. So you're going to end up with 9 squares. Draw a diagonal line into each corner using a ruler and a pencil. And now you're going to make sure those three squares in the middle are going to remain clear. You're going to draw another diagonal line to cross over the first diagonal lines. So you've made a cross in each of the four corners. Now the top and the bottom middle squares, you're going to mark the six inch mark. So I'm actually taking my ruler in there at, at um, the center mark. And I'm now going to mark up to those two fold lines to form a V. And then you're going to rotate your paper all the way around to the bottom. So you're rotating 180 degrees and doing exactly the same process. You're going to find the middle of the paper, which is the six inch mark. And you're going to draw a set of lines to form a V up to those next fold lines. Now I've drawn this on a template which makes it a lot easier for you to see. You can see the fold lines and then there are four cut lines on each corner. So we're just going to cut out those four outside triangles. And you want to save these pieces because we're going to be using one of those later on. Now I'm going to just do the same on the template. So the template looks the same and I'll do all my folding on the template which is just so much easier for you to see than using this red piece. So you're going to fold all the score lines. That's all the cutting you need to do. It's pretty simple with the cutting. It's just the folding that's a little complicated but I'll take you through it step by step. Now I'm folding those inside lines simply because it's easier to do it this way but you'll see that later I'm going to be turning some of these mountain and sorry the valley folds into mountain folds on the other side. Okay so just scoring like that just bending it in and you can see that's the basis for a box so that's what you need to have at this point is a box. Now we're going to create the bag shape by folding on those V lines that we created. And I'm folding them this way first because it's really easy to do it. And then you're just going to fold them back the other way on themselves. So those V's fold in the opposite direction now. And now this is the basis for your exploding purse or your exploding handbag. So this is a very sweet box. You can see it's quite large. It'll fit quite a lot in the base. And it makes a cute little gift. So I'll just do all those folds on the designer paper. Now I'm taking the window collection framelits, the largest and the second largest size. I'm going to get some real red cardstock and cut them and then run it through the square lattice embossing folder. Now I'm going to use some Tombow multi-adhesive and glue the smaller piece to the larger piece. And I'm going to measure and find the centre. And just draw a line across with my scoring tool and you score it in half gently because you don't want to squash the embossing out of it. Now you're going to adhere sticky strip to the top of the handbag and to one side, the inside of that piece you've just folded over and then this is going to adhere to what will be the back of the little handbag and you're going to line up those two pieces together. So they look like this and I'll show you in a minute how that opens so you'll know that you've got it on the right spot. You just want it all lined up beautifully and you can see how that's attached. 
And so there, there's the mechanism for the handbag. And those ends stick out quite a bit. So all you need to do to fix that is to take your paper snips and just trim just by eye. You don't need to measure that. You're just trimming off a small piece on each side about the same. And then that tidies up the top of the bag. Now for the handle, you're going to cut a strip at half an inch by 11 inches, and that's going to go on the back of the flap, the, the part that's already adhered to the bag. So I'm going to take the owl punch, I'm going to punch out some of the small circles, and I'm going to put some 1 8th of an inch silver brads through there. So you're going to use your piercing mat and your piercing tool to do that. And then still using that same piercing mat, you can line up where you want these on the back of the handbag. So this will be the back opening. Just open those out. And then you can have your handle as long or as short as you want. You can really adjust it to the length that you like here. Just make sure they're nice and even. Pop those little brads through. And now it looks quite ugly there, so you're going to use that off-cut piece and adhere that over the back of the brads. And then just take your paper snips and trim off the excess. Now I have a three quarter inch circle punch and I'm going to use this to create the front accessory. I've got a real red brights button and I'm going to pop that in the center with a glue dot. Using another glue dot, I'm going to get a large pearl. They're not the extra large, they're the small, medium, large pack. Pop a few glue dots on the back of that and then just line that up on the centre of the front flap. Now the best way to close this up is with a Velcro dot. I'm just using a glue dot for the purpose of the video, but a Velcro dot works much better for this because you can open and shut it very many times. If you don't have Velcro, a glue dot's fine, but I recommend glue the Velcro as a better alternative. And there's your bag done. There it is open, there's the back of the bag. So there is one bright and beautiful little box in the shape of a handbag or purse. Now here's the interesting part that I wanted to explain about this free offer. If you purchase anything from my online store, I will send you the link to an exclusive free tutorial on this gorgeous, super sturdy tea caddy. It's not available anywhere else. It's just for shoppers at my online store. Isn't it gorgeous? So I'm glad you came and watched my video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.